So you're looking to record a Google Meet call, whether it's for keeping records, sharing with absentees, or reviewing details, recording your meetings can be incredibly valuable. Today I'm here to show you how to effortlessly record Google Meet calls on desktop, mobile, and I'll introduce you to a way to get even higher quality recordings of your meetings. Let's dive in. First things first, let's talk prerequisites. Before you hit record, Make sure that you're equipped with a Google Workspace edition that supports this feature, like Business Standard or Education Plus, and that you have the right permissions. So you either need to be the meeting organizer, in the same organization as the organizer, or a teacher for education accounts. This is crucial for accessing the recording function and aligns with Google's guidelines for secure and responsible use. Recording on your desktop is straightforward. Just look for the three dots, select manage recording, and then select start recording. Everyone will then get a notification that you are recording. Again, you may not see this option if you don't have the right permissions. If you don't have the right permissions and you still want to record the meeting, you can always record your screen using a native screen recorder app. For a walkthrough on how to do that, head to the video linked above. Once your meeting ends, your Google Meet recording automatically saves to My Drive Meet Recordings in Google Drive. You'll also receive an email with the recording link. It's simple to share, just right click the file in your drive, choose share, and then select who you want to have access. Because it's saved to your Google Drive, it's important that before you record, you make sure that you have enough space on your Google Drive to store the recording. For mobile users, you'll need to use a third-party software like your phone's native screen recorder app in order to record your meeting. On iPhone, just swipe down from the top right of your screen and press and hold the screen recording icon. An option to also record your mic will pop up. You'll want to make sure that your mic is recording to capture audio. Your recording will be saved to your photos once you end the screen recording. For Android, go to your quick settings, select screen recorder, and make sure that you select audio and video recording. It will be saved to your phone's photos once you end the recording. If you want a more thorough walkthrough of how to screen record on various devices and different apps to use, you can head to the video linked above. Now, depending on what you're using these meeting recordings for, you may be looking to get really high quality video and audio from them. If that's the case, I recommend looking into Riverside.fm for hosting, recording, and repurposing your meetings. With Riverside, you can record your meetings with one click and get a high quality video recording of every participant after the recording. These final recordings are going to look and sound more professional than you'd get on any other meeting software. Everyone's video and audio file will be available to download separately after the recording, or you can use the Riverside editor to put together an edit of the recording. For example, in just one click, with this full episode button, Riverside will take out any silences from your recording. Anyone re-watching the meeting doesn't need to sit through those. You can change the layout, so choose the participants to include on the screen, or have AI alternate the video between who is speaking. You can also edit your meeting using the text-based editor and brand it to fit your style. You can export your meeting in up to 4K depending on what devices you recorded with. Now, this is also a really cool feature that I think you'll find extremely useful. Riverside's AI Show Notes feature provides a concise summary, offering a quick recap of key points, decisions, and action items without needing to sift through the entire recording. And there you have it. Recording Google Meet Calls is simple, whether you're using a desktop or a mobile device, but if you want high quality professional looking recordings that are editable to fit your needs, Riverside is your go-to. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button to let me know, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and drop any questions that you have in the comments below. I answer those personally. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Bridget, and I'll see you next time.